President Biden finally acknowledging his four-year-old granddaughter, even as the mainstream media criticized his longtime silence. Biden speaking out on the daughter of Hunter Biden and London Roberts, telling People magazine, quote, this is not a political issue, it's a family matter. Jill and I only want what is best for all of our grandchildren, including Navy. Aw, they're so... so <laughs> but could this have a lasting impact on his re-election bid? Fox News contributor Jason Chaffetz is here with his take. Jason, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Do we sound smarter because of his accent? Nah. Yeah, actually. Okay. Yeah. This no is, it bleeds off. It, normally, it's, it's wilted serious. over here. This, <laughs> way, this, this ship is now, is now gone this direction. Yeah, Jason, we discussed this a little bit earlier in the show. It's a bit of an admission that it was wrong, I think, originally to deny her existence. Is it enough now to put it behind him? In a, it's clearly a political issue. Can has he already suffered some damage that will have a lasting impact? Yeah, I think it was it was very cold hearted the way the Bidens in general reacted to this. We've known for years, given a paternity test, mm -hmm. that this young child, a grandchild, could have been open arms, could have been welcomed into the family. I'm not saying they have to get together all the time, but they could have acknowledged it and said they. They forced government employees to lie about it from the podium of the White House. I th and that's what I think is just wrong. It's cold hearted. But let's just, for, for just to take the politics out of it, I know it's hard because clearly, you know, yeah. as I said, as I said to Will and Douglas this morning, it was such a touching announcement of their four year old new grandchild with their, you know, news dump um, on Friday. But, you know, you're a grand, you're a grandfather. Um, I could be a grandmother soon, you know, I'm hoping soon. I have a daughter who's married. Um, I can't imagine not embracing any child who's my grandchild. I mean, it's just, there's just something really gross about it. Uh, it, it. It was just cold the way they dealt with it because they just totally denied it every single step of the way. But yes, I am a grandfather and it's still <laughs> surreal to imagine. But just a handful could have done something nice, could have made it. There are millions of Americans who are exactly the same situation right. and they could have shown a little compassion. But I think they showed their true colors in how they dealt with this. And by the way, Hunter Biden, at age 53, is living at home with his parents. What is he doing for an income? Where does he think, where's the source of this income? Because he, he did go back to court to try to get rid of his $20,000 a month obligation. On a private obligation. jet. Yeah. He did it on a private yeah. jet, Chase. Yeah, and so what's he doing for income? That is of the public interest because we, the American people, are paying for his housing, his transportation, all of these expenses because he's living at home on the taxpayer dime. And do you think this is sustainable, this thing of just sort of pretending that the Hunter problem isn't there? from the position of the White House? I mean, what should they do? Uh, well, look, I, any person who's going through drug rehabilitation, the guy obviously has a lot of problems. But as Joe Biden says, he's the smartest person he's ever met. But what's he doing for income? Other than being an artist. That's what he's claiming he's being, is being an artist. So how is he paying for this? These are legitimate questions, not just because it's a family matter versus a political matter, because the taxpayers are paying for it. That's why. Yeah. yeah. D Douglas, I think the answer to that question is yes, it is sustainable. We saw one of the biggest psyops in American history committed on the American public in 2020 when it comes to yeah. Hunter Biden's laptop. Why would they not be able to continue that with other stories? Uh, going forward in 2024. Buckle up. Who knows what the PSYOP will be for 2023 and 2024. It's so All right, so Jason, tonight will be on the big weekend show. You don't want yeah. to miss that. Love doing this show. It's fun. This is good time. 7 o'clock tonight, Eastern. you got great co-hosts for this. Look at this. Griff Jenkins, Tammy Bruce, and Tommy Lahren. That's going to be a great show. Yeah, I just show up and watch the show. It's good. I got a good seat. Mm, always love having you, Jason. Fun. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.